Hello everyone. Today we're going to look at changing out an instrument cluster on a 2002 Lincoln Town Car without paying Lincoln or Ford for reprogramming. Okay, now this car has got 266,000 miles. This is the new instrument cluster from a salvage yard. And as you can see, it's got the mileage from the old car, 108,000. And also, inside this cluster is where the coding is for your security key. So, even though, you know, it's out of the same car, car will not start because the coding is in the old speedometer. So, I think I've figured out a way to beat this. And I know a lot of you want to know, okay, how do you get it out? Okay, for starters, you've got two holes right here. It would be right here. And so there's two screws. They are hex head screws that require a seven millimeter wrench. You take those two screws out and then there are two more screws, one right here and one right here and they're hidden by the radio. So what you have to do is get these two tools. You know it's a it's a kit. Uh, I've got mine at O'Reilly Auto Parts. They're also at AutoZone. And they just uh, called an OEM radio removal tool. And uh, like eight bucks for the set of them. Okay, I wanted to show you guys one last thing. This is the latch on your Ford radio. And so when you've got the uh, tool in there, as you can see, when you press out on it, that pulls in, releasing uh, the latch. So you definitely have to get it so you can pull it outwards and you know get that keeper in, and that's what releases it. Your radio should draw right out. You got two connectors here. You pop off the back, pull your antenna out that exposes these two bolts and then the dash is just held in place by uh, you know snap-ins and once you get that out you've got three screws one right here one right here that you can see and one right here and these are Torx bit but they're also a hex head and that hex head uh, is a 730 seconds. So you got to take these three screws out, plus this screw, plus this screw. And then your glass or plastic cover comes off. And then down here, you've got two screws down in here. They're both Torx bit with seven millimeter, or 730 seconds heads. You take those four out, and then your plastic cover comes off. And that exposes your uh, gear shift indicator. And there's two slots that it just snaps into. So you just press in on the tabs and pull that out and swing it out of the way. And your gear shift indicator is then free of the speedometer head and your speedometer will come right out. Actually, before you do any of that, as you can see, there's two screws on each side hex head seven millimeter you know take those two out first that way you can get the speedometer head down a little bit farther and a little easier access for these screws up here so take out the four seven millimeter head screws and then take off your uh, five screws for the plastic cover four more for the inner plastic bezel I guess you would call it and then uh, just snap off your uh, park indicator and you're ready to lift it out. This is the original instrument cluster you know, from this car. 
the LEDs just do not work anymore. So I've already taken off the six screws that uh, hold it together. Take off this back plate. And now this is your circuit board with all your coating on it. You lift up on this corner. You get a, there's 12 pegs that it kind of sits on. You lift it off that. And there you can see your chips for all the vehicle information. This is what you want to keep. And this is the part of the vehicle that is bad. The, see the the LEDs on both sides don't work. The gauges work, the speedometer works, but I'll take this off. And see that's that's the part that's bad right there. So you know when you remove this you flip it over and you've got two ribbons that you you just gotta gently pry up on off the back of the circuit board that's where they press on there's a keeper on each side so you just pull them off now we're gonna put this piece on this part of the new speedometer head and then we should have all our LEDs working and our old coating so we don't have to tow the car to the Lincoln dealer and have them recode it. And here is the board with the ribbons still attached. This is the new salvage yard uh, instrument cluster. This is the circuit board that will not work with my car. This is the old uh, circuit board uh, off my car that we're going to put on here. So I got to pop these two off, lift this out, put this back in its place, put the ribbons back on, put the back cover back on. Now the best way to take those ribbons off is to get the circuit board loose and flip it around so you don't have any tension on these ribbons. Okay, I have swapped the circuit boards, put my old circuit board in to the uh, LED section of the junkyard uh, instrument cluster and plugged it in and now theoretically I should have all my LEDs working, which as you can see they come on, they do. I've got my mileage back, 266, 143 instead of 108. Uh, shows, still shows my fuel economy and uh, distance to empty, average speed, trip A, trip B, and the car should start. are cooking with gas. We did not have to pay for a tow truck to drag this thing over to Lincoln and did not have to pay Lincoln 125 bucks to reprogram it uh, just by switching out those circuit boards. As you can see we got our dash all in there and uh, the radio's back in place. It just slides right in. You don't need the tools to put that in. Put in the key all the lights light up and we gotta hit the power button on the radio have to do all the presets on that again but car starts runs fine we got our proper mileage showing 266,143.1 and the world is good and we didn't have to give Lincoln Mercury a dime for reprogramming. So 
I think this was a good video. Uh, my name is Kenny Cormandy. I normally do air gun reviews, but I just decided I had to share my experience uh, with this Lincoln Town Car. So thank you for watching.